Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me MJ. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make this little wash basket. Um, we're going to be going through a few things like emboss, uh, construction of planes, as well as uh, extrude and pattern tools. So follow along and see how you go. We're going to start off by drawing a sketch on the top plane. So create sketch. We'll select the top plane over here. And we can click up our center diameter circle. or we'll push the shortcut key of C. And I'll make this 100 millimeters. And finish sketch. Now I'm going to create an offset plane here. So if I construct offset plane, I can click on this bottom plane. And I want that offset to be 150 millimeters. You can set yours to whatever you like, um, depending on the shape and size of your basket. Click OK. Now we're going to create a sketch on this plane. And we're going to do an ellipse. So create ellipse. Click on the center there. And I'm going to go out 160 millimeters. Click there and this is going to be 100 millimeters because I want it to line up there. And we can see that it's black, which means it's fully constrained. I can't move it around. Next, I'm going to go create and loft. We're going to select our two profiles. And there we've got a nice little loft between them. And we're getting somewhere. Now I'm going to use a shell tool. Click on the top face because this is an open face. Type in three because I want this to be three millimeters. Now we've got our basic shape. We want to get this little curve cut out over here. So we'll go sketch on our front plane. I'm going to push P to project this line. So I'll select that line. Okay, now we can see we've got our two points and this line. I'm going to draw a construction line. So L for construction line, or L for line tool, and we'll change it to a construction type. If we slide along this line, you'll see when we get to the center, it snaps there and gives us a triangle. That just indicates that we're at the center of that line. What I'm going to do now is go create arc, three point arc. Let's just turn off construction line type. And we'll snap to our two points on the end. And onto this construction line that we did. So this will determine the sort of curve of your basket. So I'm going to just eyeball it. I'm happy with that. Click there. I want to just make sure that this profile is closed. Uh, we do have that projected line, so it should technically be closed, but um, I always like to make sure. And then I'll just go up a bit. You can see as I touch this line, it shows us there we've got our little blue dotted line. That just makes it in line there. The reason I do this is just to make sure that we've cut the whole profile. You can see we've got that bottom half, but just in case, I don't trust computers sometimes. So extrude, I'll select both of those and go to symmetric. Just go to the side view so you can see, as I drag this out, you can see it's cutting away what we don't want. And it's automatically selecting a cut operation. If I had to go to join, you'd see it would just create a new um, profile on there, but I'm going to go to cut and OK. So we most of the way there now. Um, what I do want to do is we need some handles on the side and we need a few cutouts there in the middle. So I'm going to go to this left view, create sketch, sketch on the left plane. And we're just going to have a, a, an ellipse there. So create ellipse. I want it to be able to snap to the center here, but it's not doing that readily. So what I can do is P, project this line, same as we did last time, construction line type, L, and we'll snap to the center there and just draw this one up. So now we've got that line to snap to for our ellipse. Go create ellipse, just turn off construction line type, and I want it somewhere around here. Yeah? 
and you just figure out what shape you want your handle to be and okay I'm just going to finish sketch leave it like that extrude again we'll go symmetric we just drag it through and it'll cut through that profile and there we've got our handles for the basket so now what's left is to create the holes in the basket I'm going to go create sketch on the front plane I'm just going to do the same thing project make sure I'm getting the center line of the basket could draw it off the origin but this is just in case for some reason it's not centered on the origin I know it is but just to make double sure we'll draw that line up and now we've got a line to draw our small ellipse to so we'll go again create ellipse turn off construction line type and draw this out not quite sure how big I want it and um, that looks about right finish sketch now if I go extrude we can go back in here symmetric so we've done this a couple times now you know the drill and it's going to cut a hole through for us but now that's only one hole we want a couple what I'm going to do next is go create and pattern tool and we'll select the circular pattern pattern or the feature we're going to pattern will be this extrude and the axis will be our bottom axis there we can see it's pulling it out nicely there and that's not going to do for us that's too many so we, all we do is go back in there and we change this down to a reasonable number can't actually see so well and 10 will do so next we're going to create a pattern and rectangular pattern make sure we've got the features selected there and the object or the feature we're going to pattern is that circular pattern the axis will be the vertical axis we'll just drag this up and add in however many we want remember we've got too many they're just going to intersect and it's going to have massive holes in our basket uh, so we will click OK if we wanted to change the size of these holes we could just go into our sketch there I'm just going to push slice so we can see through to it and we could change our dimensions there say we made that 4 it would adjust the whole size and we'd have more of a curve there I'm just going to undo that leave it like it was and I'm happy with that last thing I want a little edge around the basket at the bottom so I'm going to create a sketch on this bottom plane P for project or project that circle OK and then we'll do an offset so offset at the top there of our circle two millimeters in so we'll go minus two and OK finish sketch then we'll extrude that so I just clicked extrude and we'll select this edge so it extrudes down by two and it will be a join operation now I don't like these sharp edges so I'll put a fillet on there I'll hover over this ring that ring and then just on the inside here I'll do a one millimeter fillet so now you can see it's rounded out the edge and it's got a bit of a curve in the middle there so we're almost done last thing we can do um, before we add a bit of color is we can emboss some text on there so what you can do is just create a plane I'm going to offset plane offset from our front plane and I'm just going to drag it in front here it doesn't have to be exactly in line just a little bit in front and okay then we'll create a sketch on that plane and we'll create and here's our text menu so I'm gonna see sort of where I want this click and we'll draw our text box okay so here you're able to select whatever text you want and I'm just gonna type in there fusion fundamentals and you can adjust your text size over there 
So I'm happy with that. And then we can just, you can drag your box around, move your text to where you want it. Finish sketch. Last little bit is emboss. Once you've selected emboss, you're gonna ask, they're gonna ask you for a sketch profile. We'll select the text that we've just done and the face will be the curved face of our basket. Now it sometimes takes a bit to compute and we're going to just change this to one millimeter. Don't want it to go too deep and we're going to make it a deboss. So I'll select deboss and then we should be able to see that Seymour computer is taking a bit of time. One eternity later. Okay. And there's our basket. Last little bit I'm gonna do, I mean you could put a, let's actually do that, put a small fillet over there, a two millimeter fillet, that looks good. And we'll go S for shortcut menu and appearance. Now I know what colors I like, I like their anodized metal, they got like a shiny color. So I'm going to go with the red and the blue. You'll see here, if I drag it over, it selects the whole thing. If I select the inside face, we can actually select just the face. So there's the whole basket. And if I click on this inside face, I can actually just make that a different color. Close sketch. And then we've got our basket. Now if you weren't happy with this, you could go in and change things downstream um, and then it would compute it so long as there's no um, interference with other objects. But there's our basket. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you want to get in touch, you can leave a comment down in the comment section or you can email me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. Um, email address is in the description. Until next time, bye.